Thanks for joining us today. We have a lot to cover, so let's jump right in. Hens that are healthy and productive are key to the success of any operation. And Polvac E. coli from Zoetis is a common vaccine used to protect layer pullets and hens against E. coli bacteria, which helps reduce bird mortality and potential egg losses. For ideal results, it's important to use best practices when storing, handling, mixing, and administering Polvac E. coli. During this training session, we'll focus on layer operations that utilize caged housing or aviary systems. Let's get started. In today's training, we'll touch on these topics while focusing on proper techniques for mixing and vaccine administration. We'll go over 1. Delivery and storage of Polvac E. coli vaccine, 2. Administrator guidelines, 3. Vaccine preparation tips, 4. Vaccine administration, and 5. Cleanup procedures. Properly administering the Polvac E. coli vaccine from Zoetis begins the moment it's delivered to your farm. And knowing your farm's courier service delivery schedule will help you make certain the vaccine is evaluated and stored properly. Once the vaccine is received, assess the package for any damage to the container. Also, check the inside of the package to see if any vials were damaged, broken, or missing, and that contents are cold upon arrival. Once everything checks out, immediately store the container in the refrigerator at 35 degrees Fahrenheit to 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not leave the vaccine shipment in direct sunlight. Your safety comes first. That's why protective clothing and equipment must be worn when mixing the vaccine, during administration, and when cleaning up. At the very least, employees should wear a hairnet, face mask, eye protection, latex gloves, long sleeves, pants, and boots. The environment in the barn, as well as farm staff, pose risks that'll impact the effectiveness of Pulvac E. coli. To help minimize these risks, farm staff who will be mixing and applying the vaccine should follow these procedures. First, avoid traveling between other sites or farms for a minimum of 12 hours before vaccination day. Next, shower prior to entering the barn, on site if possible, or at home before coming to work on vaccination day. Be sure clothes are freshly washed and that boots are sanitized or boot covers are used. Think ahead to the different barns you'll be visiting on one site and which birds you'll be vaccinating. It's important to plan your visits starting at sites with younger birds and moving later to sites with older birds. Follow any additional biosecurity protocols as outlined by your employer. Get organized and think through the mixing and application process. Make sure you have enough vaccine on hand and that equipment is assembled so that you can vaccinate the entire flock without interruption. It's important to only vaccinate healthy birds. Always confirm with your processing schedule. Do not vaccinate within 21 days before slaughter. Temporarily suspend the use of any medications or sanitizers applied in the drinking water prior to and during vaccination. Avoid vaccinating in extreme heat. Best practice is at night during summer months. Check to make sure the battery is fully charged. Now, you're ready to start constituting and mixing the vaccine. When you are ready to start mixing, have all your supplies ready in one central location, ideally in a contaminant-free environment. The vaccine should be straight from the refrigerator and cool. Always check the temperature of the vaccine and be sure to mix the vaccine out of direct sunlight by creating a shadow if necessary. Hands should be clean and latex gloves should be worn during the whole mixing and administration process. Do not open and prepare the vaccine until it's ready to use. Have the vaccine container and spray cart ready for mixing. Always use distilled, non-chlorinated water. Do not mix with municipal water that contains chlorine. Your first step is to follow the manufacturer guidelines and thoroughly read the instructions on the label when mixing Pulvac E. coli. Also, be sure to follow the recommendations given by your farm's veterinarian. Calculate the number of doses to cover the entire flock. If you're vaccinating a house with 20,000 birds, one vial containing 20,000 doses will be needed. There are 10 vials per pack, so take what you need and always place remaining vials back into the refrigerator. 
Next, fill the vaccine cart container with distilled, non-chlorinated water. Then, add stabilizer and dye. Remember, do not mix with municipal water that contains chlorine. When ready, use a decapper to remove the metal cap and remove the seal and stopper from the vaccine vial. Fill the vials halfway with cool, distilled water to reconstitute the mixture. Then, replace the stopper and shake vials until dry ingredients are dissolved. Pour the reconstituted vaccine into your vaccine sprayer container. Set aside enough distilled water from the cart prep to rinse each vial at least one time after pouring the reconstituted vaccine into the sprayer and add cool, distilled water to dilute the vaccine as appropriate for your coarse sprayer. Finally, gently rock sprayer back and forth to evenly distribute vaccine within the container. Your veterinarian will advise you on other vaccines that can be co-administered with Polvac E. coli from Zoetis. Take time to conduct a trial run. This will test the equipment and ensure the proper droplet size is sprayed. This can be done with or without vaccine or stabilizer added. Then, attach water-sensitive paper to the back of the cage using a clip. Adjust the sprayer to coarse spray. This helps ensure the vaccine is ingested. Adjust spray cart nozzles to the correct height. Then, run sprayer at full throttle and at maximum flow rate as you walk at a consistent, slow pace for 10 to 20 seconds. Stop spraying and check the results on the water-sensitive paper. Adjust the nozzles, walking speed, or the distance the sprayer is from the birds if the results are not satisfactory. Keep fine-tuning until a spray pattern that'll deliver the best results is achieved. Now it's time to apply the vaccine. Double-check your battery for a full charge. Plan your route before you begin spraying to ensure you cover all birds evenly. If the vaccine has been properly mixed and added to your spray container, you're ready to get started. Switch sprayer to on position and run full throttle at maximum flow rate. Walk from one end of an aisle to the other. Repeat this process on the opposite side when only one sprayer is being used. Be sure to evenly distribute the vaccine throughout the house. When finished, switch sprayer to off position. With vaccine application complete, the cleaning step will ensure equipment is properly disinfected and stored for future use. Spray carts should be cleaned after each use. Disassemble and check the nozzle, hose, and seals. Clean exterior with mild liquid detergent and water to remove any residue. Using a brush will help clean smaller nozzles more thoroughly. No disinfectants should be used in the cleaning process. Clean the nozzle, hose, and seals evenly with soapy water. Drying out the tank will prevent bacteria from growing. Rinse the sprayer and its parts using water. Return the cart to storage area. Recharge the battery before storage. You play an important role in helping keep birds healthy to produce a consistent supply of eggs, and we're excited for you to use these practices the next time you vaccinate. Again, thank you for your time today. Additional resources are available for floor-raised housing systems. To find even more ways to improve your team's vaccination performance, contact your Zoetis representative.